hello guys welcome back to the channel this is amazing kitchen recipe yeah amazing kitchen recipe um if today is your first time watching this video please kindly subscribe and like and comment and share the video for other viewers to use it thank you very much so today we are about to show you how to do a village um a ghanaian village um fufu yeah a ghanaian village fufu yeah yeah we are always in the old ways yes that is the original one a lot of people are coming with the, in with big ideas that's fine but traditions remain the same tradition remain the same so um first of all uh what you need is you need your cassava you need your water you need your plantain and all those things yeah you can see the uh -huh. so first of all you have to peel the cassava uh -huh. you have to have a bowl there with the water when you peel it you have to remove all the i mean the dirt and the stains in it uh, here yeah. you have to move it you have to peel it and open it uh -huh. there's a line inside there's a line inside uh -huh. you see you have to remove that line too uh -huh. yeah you have to remove that line too then um you can pick uh your um your plantain too yeah you can pick your plantain too but the plantain what you have to do is you have to wash the plantain as you can see we are washing the plantain you have to wash the plantain uh -huh. and peel it yeah and peel it you have to slide the um the leaves on it uh, around it you have to peel it and you have to do it gently and very nicely yeah gently and very nicely uh, because we are eating the food as you can see we are eating the food so um guys if today is your first time watching this um video please kindly subscribe and share uh -huh. kindly subscribe and share so that african food will travel to the world yeah african food will travel to the world this channel is all about african food i mean continental food it's all about a food we are promoting african content food yeah, so if today is your first time please can you subscribe to support us to support us so you have to as you can see you have to peel it uh, you have to peel it and i mean remove all the dirt in on it uh, and slice it as you slice it so when you finish your cassava you have to wash it very nicely yes you have to wash it in a sink or in a bowl with the water very nicely uh, you have to wash it very nicely and put it in a i mean a washed uh, saucepan that you can cook it you can cook inside as you can see yes fufu is one of the greatest um, um food in the world yes you can go i mean living fufu as you can see So um, you have to wash it and I mean wash your plantain too, yeah, you have to wash your plantain too and I mean um, pour more water in it. The water have to be, uh, have to be the level of the plantain and the um, cassava, yeah, that is the right um, accurate, place, uh, accurate line or uh, the process, you understand, the method. It has to reach um, the line so you can see that it is behind the water has reached the line so later you just um, um put it on the this thing on the um on the gas and you add rubber to it now the reason why we did this is that uh, most of the time the pistol the yeah the pounding pistol uh, most of the time people don't cover it so there will be a lot of i mean insect or cobwebs or something in the kitchen so we use the water that um we 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 cook the the plantain uh, the cassava and plantain with yeah because it's a hot water you pour it on the pistol then um it will remove all the gems that's why we did it yeah so um you can see how they are putting their plantain inside the the i mean they are pounding the fufu uh -huh. yeah so this is the process how you have to do it you have to pound it so that it can like um, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> you have to pound it so that it can attach. Like it will be like, uh -huh. you see how it is. Uh -huh. You have to do it like that. 
compound it to make to to reach this level and you are going to also to you are going to pound the cassava also to be at the same level as you pound the um, the plantain first of all we Ghanaians and Africans uh, um, especially Ghanaians we pound the plantain first and later we pound the cassava first and you know that the plantain also is full of um, iron and the cassava is also uh, full of carbohydrates so we mix it yeah so this is the natural way this is the traditional way this has been from centuries this has been there this is how Ghanaians we do our fufu yeah nice fufu so if you are watching this video please kindly um subscribe 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 so when you finish you have to add the plantain to it so that it can mix well yes you have to add the plantain to mix it well so you can see that um we are mixing the plantain yeah we are mixing it to mix we are mixing it as she's as she's pounding it um the other woman too is what mixing it yeah mix it to the to match to be to to match the same color you understand so all will be one color very nice and very neat uh, if it is different if you are if you are pounding it if you add the plantain and the cassava and it's different colors then you've not reached i mean the original authentic Ghanaian fufu you see that runner all is one color uh -huh, as you can see yeah this is how we do our fufu and we have our uh we, this one we call it um, um ayua yeah i know we call it asanka yeah i don't know how they call it in english but you can see so this fufu is very delicious i can tell you you can try it in the home you can watch this video you can share it just like it subscribe it yeah you can see then um you dress it nice because food you have to eat a healthy food and yes you understand even though you are eating into your stomach and people are not seeing but they'll see it when you are like you are grown you have to eat nicely then we have our already cooked um palmer soup with our dry fish yeah with our dry fish yeah, you know dry fish also i mean delicious dry fish is also um good for its health yeah it's healthy and nice you can see yeah, and we have our garden eggs too this is so delicious i can tell you this is very 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 delicious so guys please um try this at home uh, wherever you are right now, uh, nowadays uh, the europeans also are, i mean trying it yeah african food to the world that's all we are we are doing this is our traditional food we can't live without it so try this um and it's very sweet delicious full of energy and i mean full of um guys i can't wait to enjoy this food i'm telling you you can see how mm, 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 this is so delicious wow yeah you can see this is so delicious mm, 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 mm. see how the soup the soup is going like um uh, the soup is going like um uh, river uh, river water like you don't know how it is it's very tasty you understand it's tasty this our dry fish too full of i mean minerals and i mean vitamin and all uh, everything so guys um please enjoy it enjoy it enjoy it thank you very much for watching this video enjoy how we eat the food i mean how Ghanaians we eat our fufu enjoy it very much thank you very much guys I mean share and subscribe so this is amazing kitchen recipe this is amazing kitchen recipe and this is how we do Ghanaian fufu the traditional fufu traditions continuous yeah and this is the village fufu this is the original fufu so this is amazing kitchen recipe guys subscribe like and share the video